What is it, boy? Snowman fell down the well? Get it? D d down well? <laughs> Best cold open ever. You need to play down well, and oh, I'll tell you why. First off, this game is $3, but I'm not really one to put a game's value on its price tag, so let me explain why it's a good game regardless. As the title would suggest, you're falling down a well, stomping on baddies' heads, and oh yeah, shooting guns out of your boots! Okay, that's it everybody, let's go home, no more convincing needed. But seriously, this is an awesome mechanic, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. On the surface, it looks pretty simple, shoot and jump your way down the well, collecting gems and scoring sick combos, but it's actually much more complex than that. This game is incredibly hard. You only have 4 health, and that goes pretty quick if you're not being careful. Not to mention that it's randomly generated every time you play, and you have to start from the very beginning if you die. Luckily, you gain upgrades at the end of each level to give you a wide range of benefits, from regaining health, to bullets shooting up when you destroy blocks, to increased accuracy and range. On top of this, there are shops along the way to buy more ammo or health with the gems you've collected. You work your way down through four different areas, the caverns, catacombs, aquifer, and limbo, and they get progressively harder the deeper you go. The caverns have a lot of enemies to jump on, and they're relatively harmless, but you can't jump on everything. Some enemies are red, signifying that they'll hurt you if you try and bounce on them. The catacombs get a little harder, with skeletons throwing bones at you, and skulls that become aggravated and chase you if you shoot them. The aquifer takes you underwater, and you have limited breath. You have to gather air bubbles to refill your breath meter while you navigate this onslaught of enemies and dangerous coral. Finally, if you best the first three areas, you enter Limbo. There's no safe ground here, just objects to bounce on and deadly spikes. So you have to be careful where you land while shooting these ghostly figures at the same time. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, gravity is way heavier here too! It's an outstanding last section, a final test if you will. When you beat all of this, there's a final boss, and I won't spoil it for you, but wow, it's a doozy. I still haven't beaten him, but it is crazy and definitely gets your adrenaline pumping. You might have noticed by now that there's a lot of similarities to Splash Lunky in this game. The roguelike elements, the four different locales, even the shopkeeper who gets mad at you when you try and jump on his stuff. And you're not wrong, the developer himself has said that Spelunky was a big influence for this game. He wanted to make a game like Spelunky that could be played on mobile. Oh yeah, that's another thing, this game has a mobile port as well. I haven't played it, but I've heard it controls great and is really intuitive. But as an avid fan of Spelunky, the biggest comparison for me was the difficulty. Spelunky is really unforgiving, and it takes a long time before you're any good at the game whatsoever. Downwell is the same way, but it moves much faster. You have to think and react so quickly, it's basically Spelunky on crack, but I am hooked. The challenge is a big draw for me, and I continue to improve and learn new strategies the more I play. Now, let's talk about the gun boots. This is by far the best part of the game and what truly makes it unique. Not only is this your main weapon for destroying baddies with, but it's also used to slow your descent. As I just mentioned, this game moves incredibly fast and your momentum picks up the longer you fall. This makes it nearly impossible to see what's coming next, so you can use your gun boots to take your time and observe your surroundings. But of course, you have limited ammo, so you have to use it wisely. Spamming the trigger is definitely not the best approach here. Careful, precise shots are the way to go. The only way to refill your ammo is to land on the ground or bounce on an enemy's head, so this leads to a huge emphasis being placed on combos. If you kill 5 or more enemies without touching the ground, it'll start a counter above your head, encouraging you to rack up the points. If you get a high enough combo, it'll reward you with gems, health, and even more max ammo. So when you're in the zone and combining your shots with bouncing, the game almost starts to look more like a dance, gracefully tumbling and floating downward. It feels amazing when you pull off a giant combo. It's really fun to do, and the gameplay comp complements it perfectly. There's also these bubbles in the wall along the way, and when you jump into them, it'll freeze time and keep your combo count, even though you're touching the ground. Inside, you'll either find a pile of gems or a gun upgrade. These alter your boots to shoot in different patterns than the normal machine gun style, like huge blasts from the shotgun to a triple shot or even a laser beam. This not only affects how you shoot, but how much ammo you have too. The shotgun can take out large groups of enemies, but it's not very effective for slowing your descent as you run out of ammo really quickly. This leads to a lot more strategy going into how you choose to play. It's normally a good choice to pick up the upgrade because it'll give you an additional health or ammo boost, but sometimes you won't want the gun it picks for you. There is an upgrade you can get that allows you to switch the gun once by shooting it, so you have a lot of different options of how to go about it. Do I go for more firepower or easier handling? Man, I don't really want the noppy blast, but I really need the health. It just adds so much more depth to how you play, it's fantastic. 
On top of all this, there's other styles you can play as too. My favorite is the levitate style because it makes you more floaty, making bouncing for combos much easier. If I'm being honest though, once I get past the catacombs, I start to forget about combos and just focus on surviving. If survival is your goal, the boulder style is a great choice because it gives you more starting health. All of this leads to just more variety and choices in how you want to play the game, which is a huge plus in my book. There's even different color palettes you can choose from, though I will admit that some of them make me want to gouge my eyes out. Either way, Downwell is an extremely valuable purchase at its price point, and is an amazing experience if you love the roguelike genre or just want a quick little game to pick up and play when you have some downtime. Give it a go and tell me what you think of it, I'd love to hear about your experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.